five things that you need to know about Republican tax reform. We need brain in this country. Number one, Chairman Brady said the Republicans were moving full steam ahead on tax reform. Actually, that's not the case. You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. When they were running for re-election, Republicans said, we're going to cut rates. We're going to make the tax code simpler. We're going to make the tax code fairer. And now the term is revenue neutral tax reform. What does revenue neutral mean? Revenue neutral means the government's not going to take in any more money, but they're also not going to take in any less money. Say what? And revenue neutral tax reform, since there's no tax cut and there's no tax increase, it's moving the deck chairs on the Titanic. The second thing that Chairman Brady said is it was Obama's fault that the last eight years of both the economy and the tax code are actually Obama's fault. That's not technically the case. You sit on a throne of lies. Republicans have had control over both houses of the Congress for several years. And Chairman Brady has been chair of the House Ways and Means Committee under President Obama. They haven't put so much as a budget on President Obama's desk, and they really haven't put much tax reform proposals forward for the American people. Number three, Chairman Brady said that this would be the lowest rates in history, that there would be a tax cut across the board. We lower rates across the board so you can keep more of what you earn. In fact, that's also not true. Because the Republicans are pushing what we call a border adjustability tax, or a BAT. What? What a border adjustability tax does is it taxes the products that companies here take in from overseas and sell to you. It means I leave you in anguish, wallowing in freakish misery forever. That tax could be up to 20% for the American consumer. So today, you may pay $499 for this smartphone. But when the consumer tax passes, you may pay $549 or more. So it's not a tax cut across the board, because we know that the businesses will pass that tax on to you when you buy a product. Okay, that's not good. And next, if it's not going to be a tax cut for the consumer, who is it going to be a tax cut for? Well, Chairman Brady said, it's gonna be a tax cut for businesses and for job creators. And Trump met with American manufacturers. And yet, small businesses, not manufacturers, create 64% of the jobs in this country. What? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. So who is this going to be a tax cut for? Perhaps the special interest that Chairman Brady said he's going to simplify the tax code to spite. Greed is right. Next, Chairman Brady keeps talking about a plan that's going to make tax reform and our tax code simpler, that Americans will be able to fill out their taxes on a postcard. However, we haven't seen a plan. Are you serious? Thank you for what, standing there? The blueprint released by the Republicans called The Better Way last year, that blueprint has no legislation in it. That blueprint has no specifics in it. That blueprint does not lay out exactly how this tax plan, of which Chairman Brady talked very little of how it was going to simplify the tax code for the American people, is actually going to simplify the tax code. In, in fact, I actually had a three-step plan. Uh Oh, sorry. What, what is your three-step plan? Well, I mean, I, I can't just hand you my plan. And finally, Chairman Brady said our tax code is voluntary, that we voluntarily chose this tax code. This means our tax code that we voluntarily have... You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. 
Well, as any American knows, if you voluntarily choose not to pay your taxes, you can voluntarily go to jail. We did not voluntarily choose this tax code. In fact, it would be more likely to say that Congress chose this tax code with their special interest buddies, put the loopholes, put the special pieces in the tax code for all of their friends, and then hoisted it on us so that we have to deal with it. spoke to young Americans. Now I'm not a liberal and I'm not a conservative. Are you like a crazy person? I am an independent. And as a young American independent, I want to know exactly how this tax reform is going to make the tax code simpler, is going to make the tax code fairer, and is going to make the tax code increase prosperity for the very people like me that Chairman Brady said we're going to increase prosperity for. There is one thing I can agree with Chairman Brady on. If we leave this to Washington, it'll never happen. The only question I want the American people to ask is, isn't Chairman Brady, who's been on the House Ways and Means Committee for 20 years, part of that Washington that we shouldn't trust to fix the tax code? This is Dan Johnson reporting live from the Conservative Political Action Conference for the Tax Revolution Institute.